Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris. I'm fixing to head out and go grind the stump in a minute, but I want to talk to you about how to price a job. And there's a couple ways you can price it. You can price it by the inch or you can price it by the job. I price my jobs by the job is how I, I bid my jobs. I went and bid this job that I'm fixing to go do uh, early this morning. I went out and I was in the neighborhood and I swung by and, and looked at it. But a lot of people price it by the inch, but I just do it by the job. And you say, well, how do you do that by the job? Well, when I got started, I had a guy teach me that you want to make at least $100 an hour. Well, he showed me that back in 2008. So the prices are a lot different. But for example, I'll, I'll, I'll teach you, you know, how I was taught. So if you're starting out and you, you say, well, it's going to take me 30 minutes to do a stump, you want to charge $50. Say you want, it takes you 45 minutes, that's $75. If it takes an hour, there's your $100. If it takes you an hour and a half, $150. And you know, two two hours, two hundred dollars. I've heard on other people's channels that uh, they're charging three hundred dollars an hour, which kind of seems kind of high. But I guess if you're in the if you got maintenance and uh, you're trying to uh, make payments on stuff and all that, then I guess that's re you know reasonable or whatever. But I don't see how you could go out and do some jobs and unless you got a big stump grinder now if you got a huge stump grinder it would make a I can say it make a difference you know it really comes back to if you got payment I tried to run a debt-free business I did it for 14 years with no payments no I don't even have a credit card I have a debit card and that's it that's all I use and it served me well I, I don't have no problems I don't I, I travel, I do about everything you can imagine with that with a debit card. I, and I, I've had people say, well, you know, you're just messing yourself up, you know. But if you're young and you're wanting to start out, that I would suggest, in my opinion, do, you know, start out with anything you got, you pay it off quick. Use a debit card. If you're going, you know, want to build credit, if you're trying to, step up a notch and you want to get your house you want to get your car you know, you know all that fico score you know it, and when you you ask somebody you know what is a fico score well that all that is is i love debt i love debt. you can have let me i'll put it in an example you can have a a million dollars in the bank and have a zero fico score but if you borrow a lot, you can have 700 points or whatever it is, 700, 800 on a FICO score. You can have, it, all it measures is your debt. You're willing, you're saying, hey, I can borrow this and I will pay it back. I do good at paying back. You know, whatever the interest rate is and all that good stuff. So, but if you had a million dollars in the bank, and I, I mean experience, I can tell you. They will, the FICO score is zero, and the bank will loan you, they will tell you that you're crazy. Now, who would you rather loan somebody? Would you rather loan it to the guy that has a million dollars in the bank, has no debt, or would you rather loan it to a guy that has, you know, zero assets, has uh, loans out the wazoo, and I mean, you know, who, who would you rather loan to? I was in that predicament one time. I went to, bank and I had, I wanted to build a brand new house and they told me that my FICO score wasn't that big and I had uh, I'll have, I had the catch to build a brand new house and all I wanted was a loan a bridge loan to build um, to construction loan to carry me through and then I'd pay it off when it was done you know but that, that just goes it's just a bunch of crap I mean but if you're young, and I'm talking to the young guys, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, build it up over time and you want to be your own boss and you want to be in control of your your assets and you want to be, just want to do your own thing, that's the way to be. Uh, is it easy? No, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy at all. 
But it, but after a while, uh, like I said before, you need to invest as you go along in, in an index fund or whatever it is. As you go along, as you start out, you need to invest and it will compound uh, quickly. Save up as you go, work two jobs, invest as you go. And uh, if you're young and you're starting out and you live with your parents, hey, go out and get you a side hustle or, or a job and then do a mow grass on the side, grind stumps, sell firewood, cut trees, Whatever it is, I don't know, whatever your passion is, whatever you can, you know, find whatever you love to do and you, you're good at it and do it on the side or turn it into a business and, you know, go from there. I, I, I always said when I started out, if I had a million dollars in the bank, I could, I'd still grind stones. Or if I, you know, whatever i enjoy doing it it served me well it's it's a great business the tree business is tremendous i mean uh anything right now you're in a service industry and the, the great thing about being in a service industry there will always be somebody needing you hey if you like the videos hit the like button and subscribe button and i, I appreciate all the new subscribers I appreciate, I appreciate the people with the comments. I mean, I, you know, especially the young guys chiming in and asking me questions and, and uh, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. And uh, if you don't already know, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy doing tree work. I enjoy getting out and hustling. Uh, that was the biggest, when I was a kid selling bubble gum, buying it for a nickel and selling it for a quarter that's what and i'm still doing it every day i'm buying something and selling something every day you know it it, it never went away and uh, now i'm just selling trees and or stump grinding or hydraulics making hydraulic hoses for people or whatever i uh i and you know whatever keeps me busy during the day that's uh that's what I do because I enjoy doing it and I, I have a passion for it. But like I said, if you like the videos, hit the like button and subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.